Fall is coming to an end and I'm doing my best to eke out these last few days of shorts weather. So I was so happy when I was able to finish these culottes in time to wear them with a sweater and a light jacket before it gets too cold. I'll tell you more about the pattern, the fabric I used, and my new Ana Luisa jewelry pieces, which are majorly discounted right now. But first, be sure to like this video so other people will see it, subscribe, and click the bell. Videos highlighting my makes and sewing pattern reviews go up every Monday. I already have dozens for you to watch if you want to binge. Check out the playlist in the top right corner of your screen. It opens in a new tab so you won't lose your place here in this video. Also, if you are new here, welcome. I'm Lindsay. I sew all my own clothes and I'm so glad you found me. Be sure to introduce yourself in the comments so I can give you a formal welcome. All right, back to this make. The pattern I used is McCall's 6965. It's out of print now, but I did find a couple of listings on eBay and Amazon. You might also be able to find this in the drawers of your local pattern shop as it's out of print, but not that old. So they might still be holding on to a few of them. Pattern Review describes it as a flared short and pants, <laughs> very loose fitting through hips, uh, with a contour waistband, princess seams, back zipper, and narrow hem. This project was one of the work in progress projects that I finished last month. And here's the TikTok I made where I documented like making it sort of. Hello, day four of my unfinished project challenge where I am choosing an unfinished project at random every single day and finishing it. So today... Let's pick a really good one. <laughs> Today we are going to be working on Work in Progress 12. So those are the ones that are in the bin. They're usually like cut but not sewn. So let's see what number 12 looks like. Okay, number 12 is this pair of culottes, shorts, or pants. I don't remember. And the fabric is actually really pretty. It's very fall-like, so I should be able to wear it relatively soon. Cute, right? All right, I'll spend the day sewing this. All right, so past me, made a muslin. Like I literally never make muslins, but I can see exactly how this is supposed to fit and I think it's gonna be pretty cute. So I can just sew it up as is and not have to worry about if it's gonna fit or not. Love my past self. It has been several hours. Your girl got a shower, put some makeup on, had meetings, all kinds of stuff. But I also got the short sewn. What do we think? I'm kind of obsessed with this fabric so much. Very lightweight, very flowy, very cute, very sweet. Yay, so happy. Come back tomorrow and see what we'll be sewing out of the bin. So as you can see, I made a muslin, which made me confident in making it after such a long time. But when I originally tried on the muslin, I didn't really take into account any fit issues other than like width. I think I was just so happy that I was able to get it around my waist um, that I didn't really consider anything other than that. But looking back on that video and on... Um, this video where I'm modeling it, I can see that there are some things that I need to change for next time. First, it is really short in the back. I can kind of feel that when I'm wearing it. And I think it's because the shape of my bum and the princess seams combined make it a little bit flary back there. So the shorts aren't necessarily falling in on my body underneath my bum. They're kind of flaring out which gives the illusion and feeling of them being shorter than they really are. So I do think I need to do a proper full seat adjustment next time to make sure that there's enough fullness in the shorts to accommodate my bubble backside. <laughs> it wouldn't be hard to do as there are princess seams in the front and back pieces. And then I would also add length to the front and back as well, probably an inch. This is more of just a personal choice. I do think that they will feel better once I get the um, full seat handled, but I could use a little bit extra length just for, like I said, personal choice. That said though, there are two longer versions and I'd love to give those a try without any changes because I actually think the flary back would be nice in a pant, even though it's not really in a short short. 
Um, the fabric is a rayon chalet that I got from the clearance section at Joanne years ago. I love how it's like a fall floral. It like it's flowers, but it's in fall colors, so it's more appropriate for this time of year than the spring, I think. And you might recognize my top. It's my Nico top that I made last year. I mean, perfect color coordination, right? Uh, I guess that's why mustards are so popular right now because they kind of do go with everything. I made these two garments, you know, a year and a half apart from each other, bought the fabric years apart from each other, and they still go together. I just really love that. I've linked the video where I talk about this Nico top um, in the top right corner here, so if you want to check that out, go ahead. And then since I was going with such bold colors for my outfit, I decided to wear my new gold jewelry from Ana Luisa. You should recognize that name by now. They are pretty much my go-to jeweler at this point. I just love their dainty pieces so much. They are subtle and understated, but go with absolutely anything that I'm wearing. The earrings are the Suzy Huggies in teal. If you don't know what Huggies are, they are the style of earring that kind of wrap around your lobe. There is not a post in the back. They just snap into themselves. They are my favorite type of earring now because I can sleep with them and I don't get stabbed and I don't have to worry about the post in the back falling off and the earring falling out. They just stay in place no matter what you're doing. I've had these in for a few weeks and have not taken them off. The teal looks more like black or navy in person, which is also nice uh, because then I can just, it can take on so many shades because then I can just wear it with whatever I want. Uh, my bracelet is the Rio. It's a flat chain bracelet and in my opinion, so chic. I wear it by itself like this or I also stack it with other bracelets that I have from Ana Luisa if I'm going for something with a little bit more of a statement. Um, this bracelet is definitely understated, but it can also transform a basic look and be transformed into something a little bit more special as well whenever you stack them. Head to the description box to check out Ana Luisa's jewelry. They are having a massive sale right now through the end of the month. One of the biggest sales of the year. They're doing a buy one, get one 60% off. So you can get both of the pieces that I'm wearing here. But be sure to use the link in the description box as it's my personal link and it helps me out so, so, so much. Ana Luisa jewelry is also perfect for gifts. So I just want to put that out there. You can order a few things, get a little discount, get a couple gifts. <laughs> Again, the link for Ana Luisa is in the description box. That will take you right to their website where you can access the buy one, get one 60% off sale. I really do hope you love them as much as I do. But that is going to do it for me today. Please let me know what you think about my new shorts and whatever else I'm wearing. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!